Hi and welcome to the screencast on InnerSafe. I'm going to be showing you in the screencast how to make a simple atlas report using InnerSafe. I'm going to start off just by running a simple analysis um, with land cover, flood on land cover. Um, and the, the report will be custom for this particular um, exposure hazard combination. So it will only be generated if you're running flood on land cover. Um, I'm just generating the report so that I've got some data to work with while I go and prepare um, the template. So now I'm just opening Composer. I'm going to just create a new Composer layout. Um, and I'm going to call it um, flood on land underscore cover, which is the naming convention um, that uh, we, we follow where uh, if you want a template to be auto-generated for a hazard exposure combination, you name it after the um, the specific um, name of that hazard exposure combination. All right, so now we've got a new composer layout, and um, the first thing I'm going to do is just add a map element to the composer layout. Um, the next thing I'm doing now is just enabling Atlas. So uh, the the point of uh, the Atlas functionality is to produce one page per aggregation area. So I'm setting it to use the aggregation summary table, and you'll notice they also used uh, produces a single page. Now I'm going back to the map um, element, and I'm enabling it to be controlled by Atlas and calling it impact map. It's important to call it impact map, otherwise in a safe won't know which map is the map element to use. I'm just going to add a, a heading element to the page and I'm going to use one of the new inner safe variables uh, which is the um, the title for the analysis um, and it will automatically populate the contents of this um, label with um, that with the analysis title. You can find a whole bunch of inner safe specific variables and functions in the expression tool in, in, in QGIS. Um, just be sure to, when you find the one that you want, press enter. So I'm using map underscore title here. And just double click it so that it lands up in the left pane um, of the expression. You'll see it's now been uh, added into the main properties of the label. I'm going to go ahead and add two images to um, this um, sample layout as well. The first image will be the dark InnerSafe logo. Once again, this is a a function, an expression that's provided by InnerSafe. And the second image is going to be the organization logo, also an expression that you can use, which will go and find the um, active organization logo that you've got enabled in your settings. All right. So um, now you've got your basic layout. You can add, obviously, other content. I'm going to keep it simple. Just make sure you've got your map is controlled by Atlas and your ID is, is impact map and that you've set your Atlas to uh, generate. You can preview Atlas. In this case, I only selected one polygon, so um, there's only one preview area. And now you can save your layout um, using that naming convention I mentioned. So I'm saving it as flood underscore land cover. And you've got to save that in your .qgis2 slash inner safe directory in your home directory. Now I'm removing the sample analysis I did and I'm going to go and select a few more areas just to show you the um, that the atlas will generate one map page per, per aggregation area for the analysis. So I'm just selecting three different areas here. And then I'm going to run the analysis again, making sure that I'm using flood on land cover because that my report is specific for that hazard exposure combination. It's going to take a few seconds to run. I should note that if you're doing an atlas generation, your report generation might take longer um, than normal analysis um, results. Now you can see I've produced the report and there is one page per area in the report. And of course, you can add other content to this report um, as provided by the InnerSafe variables. So this is just a simple example just to get you started and um, should give you the basic idea of the workflow for creating an atlas with InnerSafe. Thanks for watching.